Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Z here at Pink Oratero. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for subscribing and supporting this channel as well. So I'm in and off these weekly reads with Libra. So um, hopefully this message resonates with someone. Unfortunately, it won't be for everyone. So just keep that in mind. All of my information is in the description box as well. So this reading is for, um, well, this could happen at any time, y'all. I'm just asking for um, March the 20th through the 27th. So what messages do you have for Libra for March the 20th through the 27th? Okay, so we got the chariot that came out here. Some of you guys could be taking action here towards um, um, moving towards something here with the chariot. It's kind of like you're in control of a situation here. What messages do you have for a Libra? From March the 20th through the 27th. So there could be some conflict here as well um, about a situation here too. It's like maybe there's like an obstacle here too in the way of a certain situation here too. I feel like too you guys are like closing out um, a cycle here as well. Because I've seen the world card coming in here. Sorry if y'all hear a dog barking in the background. What messages do you have for Libra here from March the 20th through the 27th? Okay, Six of Cups here. So the World card keeps um, showing up at the bottom of the deck here. So with this right here, um, this could definitely be like a new cycle here starting for you guys. But with the Six of Cups coming in here, there could be some, like, some past conflict coming in here. Or it's like maybe someone coming back around here. Hold on for one second. Yeah, there could be like some um, conflict here revolving around like a um, a past energy here with the Six of Cups here. But also too, for some of you guys, you could have, this could be a cancer for someone or like someone with a cancer placement here coming towards you. Um, if you had some type of conflict with them, it's like they could be wanting to make peace here too. Give me one more here for Libra here for March the 20th through the 27th. Yeah, Eight of Swords here. It could also be an Earth sign here for someone as well. Um, with the Eight of Swords here too, it's like maybe you're needing to... Um, I feel like someone is... It's almost like you don't want to see this um, Libra. Either you or the other person here. Tell me about the Chariot here. Yeah, it's definitely a connection here. I feel some like I feel it's like it's cancer energy here. Um, but the two of cups came in here. So it's definitely about a connection here. Um, and I do feel like too, it's like see, someone's not seeing something here with this two of swords. It's like maybe your emotions are blocked towards it. Um, also too, it's like someone can be blind to the truth, but um listen to your intuition here about whatever this is um in regards to this situation here. Tell me about this five of wands. It's like you, you're needing to make a decision here about this um, connection here. Tell me about this five of wands here for Libra. Yeah, ten of cups. So it could be like a family situation here as well. So this could be someone that you have a child with here. Uh, with this ten of cups coming in here. Tell me about the Six of Cups here. I feel like, too, the past is keeping someone stuck here from moving forward, possibly towards a new love as well. What's the Six of Cups here for Libra? Yeah, the Death card here. Yeah, so you could have had an ending here as well. With this Death card, I feel like, too, it's like maybe... um. Something has definitely changed here for you. Something ended here or changed. I see like a new cycle starting for someone here. And we got everything is fine here too. Some of y'all could have, it. there could have been like an ending here to a marriage here. Or like somebody that you were connected to. What's this Eight of Swords? What's this Eight of Swords here for Libra? Yeah, so the Four of Cups is here as well. 
So for some of you guys, it's like maybe you don't want this. It's like a past energy coming in here. Someone that you had an ending with. Um, wanting something new here. Hold on for one second, y'all. Yeah, so you're you're not wanting it here. And I feel like, too, you could be going back and forth here. Like, you could be dealing with someone new, and then, like, a past person comes in here. So it's like there's conflict here in regards to that situation. Um, about you moving forward here. So let's see here. What's going on here? What is this Five of Wands about here for Libra? What is this Five of Wands here about for Libra? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles here. So yeah, for some of you, if you had a tower moment with someone here, they're wanting to work some things out here or like fix it, basically. That's what it seems like. Could be an air sign here too or someone with air placements in their chart here. This could also be... um. You could have like cut this person off here too. Tell me more about the Six of Cups here for Libra. Tell me more about the Six of Cups here for Libra. Yeah, for some of you guys, you're needing to get confident here. Um, Yeah, for some of you guys, you are, you could be going back and forth here because there was some deception here with the Seven of Swords. But I feel like too, someone could be like blind to, to that situation here too. For some of you guys, it's like you could be um avoiding it too, this situation. So this Two of Pentacles came out here. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like too, someone doesn't really know um if they want to take a leap of faith here. Because it's like an in and out type of energy too for whoever's coming towards you. Um, Libra but it's like you're rejecting someone's cup someone could be done with a Scorpio too because I see Scorpio here um with the full card coming in here it's like maybe that's a risk here but yeah like you're super guarded here towards this person because you're showing up here as this queen of swords whether you're male or female here it's like we got the, the king of I mean the queen of swords could be the king of swords too but someone's like super guarded here like they got their sword up because like maybe this person hurt you but um, I feel like you know what's up here too. Tell me more about this Four of Cups. Yeah, you found out the truth here too. With the tower coming in here. So I feel like someone's rejecting this because maybe you and this person had a tower moment here. Um, tell me more about this death card here. Tell me more about the death card here for Libra. Yeah, so we got Justice that came out here too. So it's like you, um, I feel like you guys have something new coming in here. If it's like a, a past person here wanting to um, to come back here. Like someone that you had to end it with. It's like you're getting Justice here. Also too, it's like if they were being deceptive here or lying here, um, they could be wanting to um, like make things right here basically with justice coming out here but justice is your energy libra so um uh, for some of you guys it's like you definitely um went through some type of change or transformation here for some of you guys this could definitely be like new love as well um like with the death cards like change transformation coming in here towards someone's life here and with justice like for some people this could be a justice here if you are in this like four of pentacles state it's like um you know some some unexpected change happening in your life so it could be like you need to take a, uh, a leap of faith here a risk so let's pull a oracle card real quick give me one here for libra give me a card here for libra Give me a card here for Libra. So yeah, we got mending. So yeah, this could definitely be a past person here wanting to mend a relationship here. So mending, that talks about like healing. Um, it's card number 52. 
So let me read a little bit of the message here. 51. And then 52. So yeah, essential meanings is forgiveness, making amends, healing after argument. So yeah, with this five of pentacles, I mean not five of pentacles, the five of wands, whoever you have some type of conflict here or disagreement with. Um, and I feel like it could have been an argument too. It's like they want to heal or like fix it basically. Um So I'm going to read the relationship message. It says you've come to a place where forgiveness is necessary. If you're to if you're to move forward, see that chariot came out first. Separate, um, separate or together, you and the other person are still experiencing the effects of of a hurt that is impacted everything you do. Even if you're not aware of it, the energy needs to clear. What must you do to bridge this gap? Closing your heart is not the answer. You have the power to heal this wound. Ask yourself what what would um oh sorry ask yourself what would love do, only good will come of forgiveness and a honest redress. So yeah, you remember when I was mentioning something about like it seems like you don't want to um someone's like avoiding it. It's like something needs to be fixed here, and they're like blind to the truth of it. It's kind of like you could be like kind of, I want to say like running away from it, but it needs to be fixed here or like um healed basically. It's like someone's trying to act like they don't see it, but they really do. So, I want to read. Some of you guys to definitely be like separated from a person here as well. Um, so... So I feel like too, so, um, for a lot of you guys, you're needing to, um, to heal the past here. There could be some type of memories here that could be keeping you stuck here. Um, this could also be like resentment, but it's heavy on like arguments. So I'm not really sure what that was about here. Um, like it could be replaying back in someone's head here and you're needing to just forgive and release this. Like, so you can be at peace, like, um, set yourself free here. I feel like someone needs to make amends here with another person here or someone's making amends with you here. So I am going to um, leave the read right here, Libra. Hopefully it resonated with someone. Of course, you guys can give the video a thumbs up um, or like the video if, it, if, if you found it helpful or if it resonated with you. Um, if you're new to the channel, you can also subscribe as well.